You police tonight are wrapping up their investigation into that weekend crash that killed two teens on their way to prom. And tonight we're hearing from one of the passengers who survived. He told our Alan Carter, it's a miracle he's alive. The physical scars are there. Got a concussion and then um, cut on my upper lip and they think maybe my right, my right rotator cuff is torn. And they'll heal, but it's the emotional wounds that'll take some time for Jackson Smith. But Kalen was one of my best friends and I, I don't know, um, it's going to be hard. The Hamilton Heights senior was in this car on the way to prom before getting in that accident over the weekend in Hamilton County. I remember bits and pieces of the accident. I, um, I remember certain sequences. I remember uh, the other girl asking me to help her get out of the car. But that's it. You know, I, I don't remember the sequence that led to the crash. I don't even really remember taking pictures like the our prom, our prom pictures before. The crash took the lives of two friends, Lyndon Byram, who he just met, and Kaylin Hart, who he'd known most his life. They were good people. They were great people, and I loved them both. Even though I only had known Lyndon for a while, I, I, loved, I loved him. And Kaylin, I, I loved her like she was my sister. Smith was sitting in the backseat passenger side where the car was hit. He and his girlfriend survived. He's still processing how. This is a God thing. I shouldn't be walking today. I shouldn't be talking to you right now. But I am. He talked to us because he wanted to share their story and figure out how to make good on his life that was spared. They were just good people and they didn't deserve what happened. But this is this is where we are, and we're just gonna have to grieve how we can. I'm lucky enough to be sitting here today. I'll never forget this. This will be with me until the day I die. Now that crash happened at 281st and Lacey Road. That's where that car carrying all four teens collided with the SUV. Investigators have already reconstructed the weekend accident using measurements from the intersections and they mapped out both cars location using a drone. Police tonight are also looking at the event data recorders from both cars to see each driver's speed when they hit the brakes and other driving habits. So far, police haven't pointed to an exact cause of the crash, but they do not believe drugs or alcohol were involved. Services for Kaylin Hart start Thursday with a visitation at Randall and Roberts Funeral Center in Noblesville. The funeral is Friday. We're still waiting on arrangements for Lyndon Byram. We know there are so many Hoosiers out there wanting to help these grieving families. There are several fundraisers that are set up right now where you can help these families cover the cost of funeral expenses. We've got the link to those posted for you right now on our website, WTHR.com.